video and one of the one of the players rang me up and said, have you these clips for the next day? And I said, I do. And I said to him, well, he made a point, one or two points to me. I said, that's fine. Would you mind relaying that to the players the next night or telling it? So when we when we put the clips on board, he stood up and he 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 spoke about that clip and you know a couple other clips about it. And you know, the engagement from the players was I'd like to say even better or more so maybe than if I was standing there and he got more response from the players as well. And that's brilliant to see as coaches. So um, that's very, very important. So um, again, it comes back to the ownership thing. And maybe I think that's it for me, Joe. I just maybe just to summarize again, um, just in terms of the stats in the video, it's a huge, important, and it's it's very important provided it's used in the, used in the correct manner. I think it's great as a learning tool. I think for coaches, they are starting out this season uh, for the next season ahead. I think it's just important that you you um, experiment and see what works for you in terms of your stats and your video, particularly in preseason. Talk to other coaches and players as well. Get their thoughts and get their feedback. Um, use it to develop the players and therefore seek their 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 input, as I mentioned. And then the first one of the first points I mentioned there was maybe just trust your own eye as well and your coaching eye. And you've loads of experience and um, use it and don't be afraid to go with your own judgment as well. Use the stats and the video then as a backup tool. So, Bermila Mahagov, she know You made it for Dan Fay uh, that the the team that you're going to be playing next uh, doesn't press kickouts. So you've got a coach for that. You've got to be ready for it. You've got to say, all right, they're going to give us kickouts. What are we going to do in that scenario? How are we going to make our way up the pitch? How are we going to get ground up the pitch? Uh, who's going to take that ground, et cetera? And those are all valuable things. You know, on the flip side of that, the, the team that you're playing might come with a heavy press against your kickouts. So what are you going to do there? So like I said at the start of that slide, um, that's a really interesting one for me because it's a different puzzle uh, for every game and it's it's trying to solve that puzzle, uh, which is quite is quite a challenge alongside working with your own team. And initially I thought I was just going to use it for, for pulling bits of clips together, but I did the applied performance uh, analysis course through Performa and with the University of Ulster and it completely changed my perspective on how I should use analysis and use the performance software. So we were set, we brought it in so that we can know if we're on track for what we're doing. So if we have a game plan, is it working? Why is it not working if it's not? Uh, then it was, it's measurable. So we can measure from game to game. Well, have we improved on this or have we improved on that? Uh, and luckily we were able to find there was a, a study by uh, Heavy et al uh, on under 20 uh, championship. And it was giving you a breakdown of the numbers of attacks and scores and I suppose turnovers, was just the basic information that you would want. Uh, for under 20 football because most of the information you would find would either be for club football which is a bit different and then senior inter-county which will be a 70 minute game in comparison to a 60 minute game so it's great that we were able to have that study that we could benchmark ourselves from uh, and try and work towards the target and also added a layer of accountability but that wasn't just for the players it was for ourselves to know well are we are we just doing this for the sake of doing it or just using analysis for the sake but are we actually getting something out of it and i suppose going back to the draws being so tough it allowed us to be able to be focused on ourselves more so than anything else and that's kind of the route we took that we focused on sligo and what we could achieve uh, on a game-to-game -game basis